everyone. Happy Friday to all. It is time for a Final Fantasy Friday once again. Um, oh yeah, I wanted to move... Let me do this now while I'm thinking about it. I'm gonna move myself over... Yeah. Normally I like to be in the corners, but I noticed last time it was a little difficult to see what command I was doing when I was right against the corner. So maybe this will be a little bit better. We'll see. But... Um, so yeah, last time we met up with Aerith, we fell through the church, we did all that fun stuff, we met, uh, Reno and Rude, the Turks, and I believe we ended off, like, right after fighting Reno. So, at the point we're at now, we could either go back to Aerith's house, or do more side quests. I actually remember that I was pointing myself right at her, because I wanted to do the side quest first thing. You're that former soldier, aren't you? Cloud, was it? E. Former soldier turned problem solver. Are you okay, Miss Folia? You look upset. Yeah, you're kind of like. <laughs> yeah, I am pretty upset. <laughs> waving all over the, the place. Still off doing patrols, the stamp the apron. I forgot about the stamp lessons. apron. Not a single one of them has come back yet. Patrols? Is that a leaf house thing? Something they do to help out? That's right. In return for the donations we receive, the kids go around town picking up litter, oh, that's running nice. errands, that kind of thing. I don't suppose you've seen any of them, have you? Oh. Kids? Haven't we seen like a dozen of you them? See, I have some important plans this evening, and I really need to go and get ready. Would you like us to go round them up? Hmm, important <gasps> plans, huh? That would be wonderful. There are five of them. Oh, I'm sure that's not going to mean anything. They all wear homemade swords on their backs, so they should be easy to spot. And yeah, it is actually going to be the kids from earlier. Uh, they are wearing homemade swords because they saw Cloud and they thought he was cool. Uh, let's see. Now, does the mini-map show... doesn't show where they are, does it? No, of course not. We're going to have to actually go find them. There is another side quest up here. What is this, actually? Is this on the way to Aerith's house? No, Aerith's house is... I have no idea, actually. Well, anyway. We'll... Oh, no, that's towards the station. Okay. I'm gonna go pick that up now, actually, while we're at it. As long as we're looking for the kids. I actually don't remember this part of the game nearly as well as I do the first batch of side quests, so... The first batch I, like, kind of vaguely remembered. Okay, here's one of the kids. Uh, hey there. How goes the patrol? Great! I've been picking up garbage... Sephiroth, what's up? Plus, I helped an old lady cross the street. You've been busy. Saw so Helix as well. What's going on, everyone? And those of you who are lurking, just watching as well. Oh no! I'm late! Did you see Miss Folia? Is she mad? Oh, I gotta go! I'm sorry! Oh. Hey, there's actually another one. I'm actually glad I took this path. Yeah, they've even got, like, it buster swords. It's a real honor to me. We got like Unabomber Jr. down here. You guys are awesome. I want to be strong and tough when I grow up too. You sound very determined. These are dangerous times. <laughs> he does like he looks I like the Unabomber with the families. I guess that means more children might be coming to the house soon. Maybe you should join the Avalanche. Teachers are going to have a whole lot more work to do. Speaking of teachers. Is looking for I was gonna say, is Cloud gonna speak? Did he suddenly become a mute protagonist? I have to get back right now. All right. Okay, here's that other quest. Shinra weapons are on the rampage. Five of them, like floating eyeballs. I saw them wander off into the scrap. Oh, we saw those in uh, one of the reactors. The first one, I think. willing and able to fight. I'll handle it. You will. Oh man, you're the best! I could hear them shouting intruder detected or some other nonsense when they floated off. Be careful, they look dangerous. Nah, they should be fine. They should be fine. Alright, let's dash. I always forget you can do that in this game. Thank you. Wait, is it this way? Yeah, okay, cool. That's what I thought. Oh my god, wall market. That's actually where I would like to end today's stream off, ideally. I think we can make it there in, like, somewhere in the neighborhood of three-ish hours. Huh. 
The sector five Gosh, under city. Look at all this. Um, wait, was it not over here? Hang on. Did I pass it? Oh, I did pass it. Huh. Can't. It's the building. Hmm? Here we go. Marsh stew. Is this the place, or is that in Wall Market? There's one of these like food stalls I remember at some point in the game where they're like serving up monster meat, or like people were talking about how like I heard this is monster meat. I'll protect you. I'm pretty sure it's protecting myself, you know. Um, I barely remember that. See, I played through the original game once, and it was actually in like 2021, like just a couple of years ago. Because uh, I never had a PlayStation growing up, but... So I played the remake actually before the original, but then after I played this game, I was like, oh, now I gotta play the original, so... Was never in doubt. So like I, it, it's it's funny. So like I remember strongly in my playthrough of the original, all the parts in the remake, and of course some other moments too. But like, calm with a K. Like I I remember that kind of vaguely, but I I, I don't remember what happens there. I kind of just remember story beats. Also look at me not watching my health in this game as always as ever. Okay, now, that is over here, isn't it? Maybe not. Well, something was over here. There was the uh, quest marker, so... I'm gonna keep looking around. I'm gonna feel really dumb if there's nothing over here, though. <laughs> Going in. Oh, yeah, okay, here they are. Oh, these are new, actually. Let's, um... Oh, do I have a sess? Wait, hang on, hang on. I didn't take a sess off, did I? Or do you have it? Uh, in which case, let's so turn it over to you. <laughs> no, I took a cess off. I need you to fix me. that. I got this. This one's for you. <laughs> Although, I don't know. I'm not going for 100%, so... Oh my god, these things are fast. That's it. <laughs> It's the first village. Oh, is that the place where, like... Is that the place where Cloud tells the story about, like, what happened in Nibelheim? Like, right after you, uh... Yeah, 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 okay. Yeah, I remember that part. So I have this theory based on, like, the trailers and what we've seen of Rebirth so far that... I bet that the beginning of Rebirth is going to be a cold open into, like, that flashback. And that'll kind of be, like, the tutorial level. And then once you're done with that, you'll kind of get a message of... Or then it'll, like, cut to Cloud being like, and that's what happened, you know. Seriously? If I had to guess. Oh, he's down. Oh, my God. Okay. Uh, let's give him a Phoenix down, then. You'll feel better in a second. This time. Again, me and not watching my health. Strong, okay? I'll take care of you. These things are uh, hard. Um, they have like these barriers. Should I be doing something about that? I wonder. Stop it! My turn. Don't overdo it. Hang on, hang Why on. don't you Actually, leave the let's way? Do this. Okay, so yeah, they can't be. Can they not be physically damaged? Is that what's going on with these things? See, I wish I had a sus. Hmm. Keep it together. I should probably heal up first. Yeah, you probably should. No big deal. Yeah. Won't last Everything long. spinning. Um, You've got this. Okay. No, I'll no, show no, no, you no. what I can do. There we go. That's it. Pushing it. Here goes. Still in it. This one's for you. Still got 100 percent this version. Yeah, I'm uh this is my second playthrough. We're doing it for. The DLC, because I haven't done it yet. They're immune. Go on. So they immune to everything? One more shot. Hmm. I don't have like a dispel, do I? Absorbs MP, Conjure Award. Eh, I don't really want to do that. <laughs> Just a little shit. Whatever. 
Hmm. I almost want to like start this fight over, okay. honestly. That's what I'm thinking about right now. Because then clearly, yeah, it's like when they all hit. Oh my god. Yeah, when they hit half health, something happened. Like now I can't. <laughs> now I can't damage them. And if I could assess, I could at least find out why. Can I like run away? Yeah, we're fleeing. Okay, good. Alright, 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 alright. Let's um Let's let's figure out what let's figure out what went wrong here. <laughs> oh, that doesn't heal everyone. I thought it would heal everyone. Like uh in Kingdom Hearts, but that's fine. Alright. Materia. Oh, it's uh Y, that's right. Huh, yeah, I took off assess. Well steel is maxed out, so. Alright, this time... Oh, do we need, um... Do we need to use ethers? Yeah, we're both pretty low on MP here. Uh, she's actually kind of fine. Okay. Well, I might as well top us off. We have like 11 of them. Alright, let's, let's, let's figure out what we're wrong. This isn't a game. Focus. Trust me, I'm focused. Assess you. Too bad. Modified version of the mono drive. Not only do these creatures survive, they are resistant to physical attacks until pelted with magic. Oh. And their weakness is arrow, which I do not have equipped. But we can use magic. So, but it's weird, because I used magic before and it said immune. Was I supposed to use a spell and then follow up, I wonder? I guess that's kind of what this is implying. Okay. If that's the case, there we go. I was gonna say just a little bit more until I can cast a spell. Need a light. Oh, that wasn't the same one I was targeting. There we go. Nope. They go immune when you hit with the other. Okay. So I need to. I need to lock on. Is what I need to be doing. So now we can fire you. No Okay. All right. Okay. This is going better now. Go on. See, it's usually like you're just usually missing something simple. Oh, did I not, um, take out... Did I not take out that other one? I guess not. Okay, up and at him. Stay strong, okay? Can you take over this. for a bit? There we go. Okay, we got one of them down. Um... Alright, there we go. Nope. There we are. Now we can fire this one. Time to burn. And... Come on. Oh, that is the one. Okay. It's about getting into a rhythm. I mean, this is a rhythm you should be used to being in anyway, because like. Okay, let me switch over to you. Let's do you this. Um, because this is kind of how you fight bosses anyway, by building up this stagger game, just by alternating between spells and, uh, physical attacks anyway. Need a light. Oh, this one's zipping all over the place. Calling fire. Need a light. Oh, is it doing the underground attack now? Yep, there it is. I'll show you what I can do. Of all the times. Oh, where's C? Hang on, where's C? I should just do, take care of that one. That one's almost dead. Well, I might as well finish this one off now. Need a light. 
need a light. Yeah, for real. Let's finish this off already. Oh, it went underground. Are you serious? So it's my turn? My turn. Yeah. Oh, I'm out of MP. Alright, your turn. Coming. To cast cure on me. There. Okay. There we go. Holy shit. Moving on then. Things that were more difficult than they needed to be. Yeah, I think the other problem I was having there is I was I wasn't staying locked on. Like I feel like lock on in this game is weird. I feel like it doesn't actually hold the lock. Like I feel like I was still switching between the two. Again, maybe I'm expecting it to be too much like Kingdom Hearts, or maybe I'm expecting too much for it to be like Kingdom Hearts, where you kind of just always fix on it no matter what. But it seems like in this game, I'll protect you. I'm pretty good at protecting myself, you know. <laughs> Maybe I just wasn't doing it, I don't know. <laughs> I probably just wasn't doing it, honestly. Okay, let's switch to you. Go on! One more shot! Alright. Okay. <laughs> I looked over the the timer and I'm like, it's still only twenty minutes into the video. It kinda of feels like it's been longer, but wait, I'm going the right way. Yeah, okay. Wait, aren't I? No, I gotta turn around. Oh, I see, I see. I'm at the wrong elevation. Um, okay, it's over here, right? Okay, then. Yeah, here we go. Here's the rare rats we fought earlier. Actually, heal up between fights. Oh, clouds out of MP. Um, yeah, and just how you top yourself off. Let's miss those crates. Sorry, Aerith. <laughs> Did not mean to just violently swing my sword in front of you there. Okay. Made with homegrown spices. Slum meatballs. <laughs> Wait, where was that guy? Weird that I prefer this part of town. I thought he was. No, 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 he wasn't that close to it. That's right, he was over here. I thought he was right there, but maybe not. I guess this is kind of the downside of having multiple side quests active at the same time as well. Slum meatball, yeah, slum meatballs. He's uh, yeah, not knowing which marker is actually <laughs> leading to where. Sure, hope not. My very first There's, wait, I thought there was okay. There's something here, I guess. Mind taking a look? Uh, sure. What's up, Ski? Hope you are doing well. Kids on patrol, weapons on a rampage. Oh yeah, isn't there a way I can select? Yeah, here we go. Wait, a third has been destroyed, but two remain. Oh, two remain. I wasn't even done yet. Oh, good. Okay. Hmm. Ah, uh, yeah. I guess we'll go back over there while we're at it. Okay, I thought it was yeah, I thought it was just the three, but I guess not. <laughs> You're gonna invest in the new uh Yeah, that's kind of the new topic today, is those uh anniversary Egyptian god cards. 
That's they're uh, they're they're pretty uh, pretty fucking stupid, aren't they? Avalanche must have used some heavy duty. It's got this energy, but it's still. What's going on? The Sector Five Undercity Specialty Meatball. Yeah, I don't know. Like, I don't know. I don't understand what the appeal of that is supposed to be. Really, I mean, I don't think anybody does. To be fair, but like. There's also the the normal monster BLS that's Japanese, but also wait, are there Shinner crates? But also tournament legal question mark? It's weird. Oh, of course everything you respawns. Sure nah, uh, I'm really not, but I think the other two things are here, so. Actually I think oh we gotta do that out of battle. Yeah. I think that's what... Like, is that what this is supposed to be on the map? It is. Oh my god. I was right over there, too. I thought it was standing above the original quest marker. Like, I thought that's what this was, but... Well, but see, Legos are at least fulfilling to play with. Ski. Or not play with, but build. You know what I mean. <laughs> I saw, like, a meme about that recently. Like, I'm not, I'm not playing with Legos. I'm building them. But no. Um... <laughs> Like, what is- I don't understand what is supposed to be fulfilling about, like, the- the Metal God cards, you know what I mean? Oh, that's right, I'm out of MP. Okay, so I'll- I'll use you then. And let's drop a Thundara. I don't use these second level spells enough. Oh yeah, look at that, we just killed it. See, I should've just done- oh no, we didn't kill it. I just can't see its HP. We did a lot of damage, and we did a thousand. One more shot. <laughs> yeah, exactly. The meme of like, uh, well, I don't, I don't you play with like it was I built, you know. Journey to the West. Ooh. Sounds cool. Uh, at least bio. You'll feel it soon. You've got this. Let's do this. Alright, cool. Where's the, where's the other one? Oh, it's doing the underground attack. Ooh, we improved the ice material. That's cool. Um. Okay, we have enough MP for another bio. Good. This might be better. Bio is actually a really good spell. I need to use it more often. That's right, okay, I should remember that side quests will... This game is good about that. That'll actually give you the, uh, warp. So. Silly me, I thought this was a regular video game where it was gonna make me walk back. Not a good one where they actually account for that. Robots from the reactor getting lost in the slums. Must be because of the explosion up top, huh? Mm. They must have thought they were protecting the reactor and figured I was trespassing on their turf or something. Maybe. Almost feels but, yeah, Bio is like all, almost always pretty good. Well, I feel like, I couldn't tell you which one, but I feel like there's one game where Bio is kind of like not that great. Where it's like gonna adjust and flicks the status ailment of poison, but... I think it's safe to say our work in most games it's in it's it's a really good spell market for a Merc again remember you can count on cloud uh, sure and sorry about putting this on you all of a sudden I'm really glad you were willing to help out though thanks again actually while you're here I've got another favor to ask there's this the bio blaster and those mechs Final Fantasy 6 I was wondering if it was Final Fantasy 6 it's been so long since I played that game oh hey there's another one of those kids uh, one thing, one criticism people have of this game is that they say that some parts of it feel a little patty, like a little fillery. I will say it is kind of like, we're kind of doing the exact same thing we did with Tifa. You know, where Aerith is like trying to help us build our, our rep. But I don't mind it. We know the donations aren't enough to keep things running. But that's a secret, okay? I'm not supposed to tell anyone. Anyway, I gotta go study. Okay. Um, looks like we just have a few more of the kids to find. I think we only have those two side quests to go, actually. 
Oh no, wait. Why is this a side quest marker? It's not you, is it? No? Weird. I don't know why that's one of the markers. What's that for, actually? I can look. Oh wait, it's not on here. Never mind, I can't look. Goal. Kids on patrol. Goal. Paying respects. Alright, we'll just... I guess we'll do that one. This is a straight shot. It's this person. Oh, I know you. It's Nick Offerman. You must be that mercenary. Like older Nick Offerman. That's his name, right? The Parks and Rec guy. Ron in Parks and Rec, I think. But I can't because some creatures have turned the graveyard into their nest. It kind of sounds like him too. Yes. Okay, I thought I was right. She shouldn't be alone today. It'll cost you. That's fine. That's fine. The graveyard's right by the head of the river. But I heard they put a new gate in recently to replace the old broken one. Now that those <laughs> a broken ball filled with thumbtacks sure and blah, filled tight. with wrapped in barbed wire. That's good. I think we, did. we did buy that graveyard key. I'm very glad I did. Um. Alright, so we gotta go to the graveyard, he said. Put it on the. Yeah, yeah, it's up there. That's what I thought. Nut nuts in Bolts Hills. Wow, I didn't realize we were playing a Banjo Kazooie game here. I've actually never played that one. Is that is that like the is that like the kart racing game? Yeah, we're going the right way. Oh my god, speaking of kart racing, I've been playing so much Mario Kart lately. I've been having so much fun playing Mario Kart. I was talking about this on Twitter the other day. I, I want to get good at Mario Kart. I was good at Double Dash when I was a kid. Like, I, like, not not just, like, good for a kid, but, like, I wasn't too shabby. Like, I wasn't breaking world record time, like, time trials, but I wasn't, I was kind of, kind of close. Not, like, super close or anything, but no, I went the wrong way. Well, but I can go up and around, so I guess I'll do that. But I would love to play more, I mean, I am playing more Mario Kart. Mario Kart on stream? I've thought about it. I probably will at some point. I just want to get better. Wait, no, I didn't go around. I need to go this way, back over here. People should... <laughs> I thought about that, actually. It's funny you say that. I thought about that earlier today. I was like, well, you can't stream slate Mario Kart. <laughs> That's good. Yeah, and then I can go yeah, down and around. Okay. I'll have to fight the gorgeous and the rare rats. Yeah, that's fine. That way I can cover your back. Yeah, I just, uh, I want to get better at Mario Kart before I start streaming it. Uh, well, this is I've been looking up, like, tier lists for, like, parts and characters and strategies for, for certain tracks and all that fun stuff. What's up, Toad? Twitch didn't give you a notification. Oh, I'm sorry about that. How you doing today? We're just doing some side quests with Aerith. We're helping, uh... Wait, was it this way? Yeah, and then down. We're helping Nick Offerman. Uh, we gotta beat up all the monsters that are keeping him from... Oh, but I can't go this way, right? Fuck, I went the long way. Alright, yeah, no. Because if I... Yeah, I thought this connected here. But it doesn't. Wait, unless it does it over here? Wait, where is that on the map? Yeah, over here maybe? Oh, does... oh that's right. This didn't work in the cutscene. That was like the whole point. Was I supposed to... I think I was supposed to open this. And I never did. Okay, so now I have to go all the way around. Great. Playing Mario RPG? Ooh, which one? The new one? Or the, the remake of the new one? I mean, you know what I mean. <laughs> the remake of Super Mario RPG, is that what you're playing? I haven't gotten that yet. Um, but yeah, it looks pretty good. I have played the original a couple of times. It's a very good game.
I wonder if um Made with homegrown spices. I wonder if they'll pull Link's Awakening and now that the remake is out Oh wait, do I not have that yet? Yeah, where is that? Here it is. Yes, your music. May I have it, please? Hey there, man. You into music? I screwed up an order of discs, sitting on a mountain of them now. Mind taking at least one off my hands? Don't. Um, that was, um, you're talking about, I, I think I've actually seen that version you're talking about of Link's Awakening, Ski. Is that the one where, like, it's not the scream ice cream, but actually shows, like, a bunch of the, oh, I missed the treasure chest. It actually shows a bunch of it at once. Ooh, a mithril armlet. Is that, is that good? That's what Aerith has right now. It's also, oh, I have a mesmeric armlet. Is mithril better? 10 defense, 40 magic defense. Oh, it's definitely better. Oh, okay, yeah. Dope. That's really good then. Um, oh, right. Why? Okay, so that was assess and healing that were on there. Uh, healing and... Oh, I also always forget... Yeah, I always forget to use my uh, level 2 spells. I have Cura. I think on both of us, actually. Okay, so I gotta hang a left at the UE. Beep. There we go. Yeah, okay, this is the way we came the first time. With Aerith. Got it, got it, got it. Just this way. That's easy. Oh, more of these things. Right. We gotta hurry. I don't use my like physical attack abilities enough, like bravery and all that stuff. I just need to dodge more. There we go. I was gonna say, I'm pretty sure I fire spell with pressure. Ooh, that one's okay. That one's staggered. I want to use Fira on it then. Which one was it? C. Let's do this. Yeah, there we go. That's lots of damage. I can help too. Uh, let's try Thundara as well. How shot? I'm just so ah. tired. Oh, I keep getting hit with sleep. Great. Yeah, dodge that. <laughs> let's cure a cloud. <laughs> yeah, see, that's really what I need to be doing. That's I think why I've been having trouble. <laughs> This stream is like keep using my level one spells when I've got level two spells on everybody, you know. Um, we can afford to just use a fire, I think, to finish this one off, though. Well, actually, no, that didn't finish it off. There we go. Okay, we got one of them. Let's switch it up. We've got to get through this. Can you take over for a bit? Can you handle them? And... Yeah, let's just... Oh, you know what? Uh, no. Let's throw down... A focus thrust. There we go. <coughs> Actually, I should be using Punisher mode. Especially while it's staggered. Yeah, look at that. Oh, that did so much damage. One more shot! Sure. Yeah, you're not weak to it, but I'll have you throw down a Thundara. I actually, I'll have you use an Aether on yourself, because I've been using a lot of MP. Oh, it canceled my spell. Alright, uh, Thundara on the staggered one. 
I have a limit. God, because I've been taking so much damage. Fine, whatever, it's fine. This must be it. Alright. Hey, you wanna say a prayer too? No thanks. I think you've got it covered. And there we go. Another side quest then. Oh, I keep meaning to look. Make sure that I'm good on. Okay, you can see it a little bit better. I was gonna say. My position on screen. Oh, it's Aerith who's low. I guess we're both kind of low. You know what, I think I'm actually going to move myself over a little bit more. There we go. Maybe... I think that's actually fine. Okay. Because when I'm like all the way over to the left, it's a little hard to see the menu. To see like what kind of, like what attacks I'm using and all that fun stuff, so. Okay. I'm really grateful for what you did. Ooh, a studded bracer. Reward. I owe him a lot. Maybe more than I can ever repay. And now Scared Man? Why is he called Scared Man? Is it because he was scared of the uh floating eyeball things? We paid our respects to your wife. And we took care of those creatures. Oh, that's such a relief to hear. I can't tell you how much it was weighing on my mind. I was beginning to think I might never be able to visit her grave again. Oh. With my bad back and my legs, my whole body's a mess, frankly. I... I didn't think I could make it past the creatures. Yeah, well, I... I, <laughs> I don't think your bad back and old age have to much to do with that, Still, frankly, but... Facts. Creatures or no. I don't know, maybe this dude's just a badass. Maybe that is all that's holding them back. This is the graveyard key. Run it back to Moggy. But I just told you about my legs. Why don't you just give it back? Okay. It'll cost you 5,000 gil, though. 5,000? It's always money with you people. <laughs> Fine. I won't ask you for anything else. I'll take your damned key and give it to the boy. <sighs> it's downright depressing. What is the world coming to these days? Huh. Well, that's a very <laughs> weird way to end that side quest. It feels good to help people out, doesn't it? <laughs> you having fun yet? Heaps. Fire Emblem 7 had a guy named then Guy. Guy is a name, though. More. Don't forget, it's all about service and salesmanship. I'll leave that to you. All right, but don't think you can rely on me forever, mister. Wasn't planning to. That's good. Because I command a very good salary. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Um, now we just gotta do... I don't know, what is this? Kids on patrol. Okay, that's... Two more kids to go. Is it... Oops. But this is just the um, border here, right? Is this to tell me that all the kids are, like, somewhere, like, in town? I think that's maybe what that signifies. How do you know, Aerith, person who asked me that? Chadley? No, we are, in fact, not going to be grinding uh, Duel's Cup tonight. I don't want to, so I'm not going to. <laughs> That's pretty much all there is to it, really. I don't really have much more reason than that. I just don't want to do it. Okay, here we go. Cloud? Hey there. How goes the patrol? There's a lot more people on the streets than usual. Maybe because the reactor blew up? Well, you've been keeping a very sharp lookout. But... Don't you think you're forgetting something? Guy is a pretty old name or confusing oh, one. Maybe so. I gotta get back to the house. I think of like Guy from Naruto. Oh, and here's your last kid. That's nice. Wow, you're that soldier, right? Can I ask you a 
I actually went to school with somebody named Man. Uh, he was his family was from Vietnam, I believe, if I remember right. Is that true? His first name was Man. M A N. Something else you should be worrying about right now. I was about to say his last name, but I'm not gonna dox him. Oh, he, that, that kid was like right there. Okay, good. I think this is the last side quest too. The children finally came back, thanks to you two. You've been a great help. Okay, everyone, come inside. It's time to hit the books. But to be fair, I, I have not known a guy. The Toad King's back. I saw him near the Toad King. Also, that kid has a baseball bat with a barbed wire wrapped around it. Look, oh no, sorry, nails in it. My bad. He wears a crown. Look at that thing. Like he owns the place. If he's not a king, he's got to be monster royalty at least. The kid is ready for a fucking fight. Oh yeah, really. Guy is a pretty common French name. Ah, I see. I don't work for free or cheap. But we don't have any money. I'll take that baseball bat. The watch wouldn't ask for money. But if we ask any other grown-ups for help, they'll find out about the hideout, and that'll be it. We really don't want to lose the hideout. Come on, help us. Oh, and we'll give you some cool treasure if you do. Sounds like Gui. Ah, enough, I see. I'll pay the rest of your fee once I open my shop. Well, if you won't help, then we'll just have to kill it ourselves. <laughs> I'm sure you would say that. <laughs> I'll do it for three gil. Huh? I'm offering a special discount right now on Toad King jobs. Oh. Looks like it's your lucky day. Awesome. Now that's my kind of bargain. You can beat the Toad King, no See, okay, so did I miss some kind of context with the last cutscene with uh, the old man? Why did we charge him 5,000 gil to run the key back? Was it to, like, give him the key so that way he could visit his wife? Also, he missed the treasure chest over here. Was that, like, our way of doing that? That one kid decided he should be in charge. <laughs> that one kid looks like the Unabomber. <laughs> I hope I don't get in trouble for saying that, but he does. He's got the sunglasses and the jacket and everything. Uh, yeah, it's right here. Ah, oh, this song is so good. This is actually an instrumental version. Well, not this one. This is the Gold Saucer theme. But the other song we were hearing was an instrumental version of the uh, um, Final Credit theme. Also, these kids are playing just fine. Ooh, this is some serious music. About to fight this fucking Toad King. I actually don't remember this fight at all. Seriously. This isn't a joke, this is just a head on fire. Nothing to it. They have nails <laughs> they have nails for a bat. <laughs> That's good. You sure you wanna fight? Um, uh, you know what, I might as well top off. <laughs> I love this tense music. Leading up to this okay. fight, it's good. <laughs> A lot of hedgehog pies, no frog king yet. Or sorry, toad king. Ooh, we gained a level. Hell yeah, we're level 20. Ooh, our healing material improved too. Oh, hell yeah. But I, I was about to say before I saw that level up that, uh, you know, Yu-Gi-Oh players, we know the distinction between frogs and toads. It matters a lot. Uh, fire material level up as well. Wow, a lot of material level ups. Wait, so do we have Kiraga now? And Kiraga? Is that what that means? No. What does that mean then?
Oh, it was hers. Oh, so she has Kiraga. Dope. Okay, and then my fire one upgraded, which means I have Firaga. Okay, if I have that, I might actually... Do I have another spell I want to work on? Let's work on air. Also, this luck up. Deadly dodge is maxed out. Ice materia we're still working on. Assess, I want to keep on. I want to assess the Toad King for sure. Assess the Toad King. Uh, do you have room? Not really. That's fine. We'll just we'll just not have fire for a little bit. I think that's him. Yep, there he is. Okay. The leader of a hedgehog pie pack, this self-styled king wears a toy crown it picked up in the slums. It attacks by charging. Yeah, the model actually does have, it's kind of hard to see right now, but the model actually does have a little, like, cardboard crown on it. It's kind of cute. Flitting a certain amount of damage is susceptible to staggering. It enhances either itself or its comrades during battle, so target who is ever, whoever is not affected by its powers. Okay, we'll have to watch for that. Let's also try throwing some magic on it. Actually, what is it weak to again? Hang on. Oh, it is weak to ice. Good, good, good. That's what I thought. Okay. Bundle up. <laughs> Bundle up. <laughs> Cloud is great. Oh fuck, they're stealing from me. Did you see that? They stole my potion. Maybe let's take care of the little ones first. Unless it just spawns more. It might just spawn more if I kill these. Um, why don't you drop a bio on it? Let's see if that does it again. You'll feel it soon. <laughs> That poison is so good. Keep it together. Here goes. Let's keep yeah, let's just keep dropping them on him, why not? There we go. Boom, there's the stagger. One more shot. Let's uh let's let's just focus thrust. There we go. That's over. That wasn't bad. No robbery sale, everything is free. <laughs> Alright, so we did this for a three gil. They'd also say they give us a treasure though. Yep. Kicked his butt real good. Awesome! I knew you could do it! Now we don't have to worry about the king and his smelly friends. E. Thank you so much! And we actually get the bat. <laughs> we get the nail bat. That is actually gonna be our next yeah. weapon, by the way. <laughs> okay, kids. Playtime's over for now. I've prepared a special assignment for everyone. One that I expect you to finish. It's probably better that I have it than that kid has it, to be fair. Uh, yes! Yes, Miss Folia! <laughs> Let's go, I love swinging home runs! <laughs> wow, Miss Folia, you must know all their secrets. Oh, if only. Easier said than done. They're always on the move, looking for new adventures. Chasing new dreams. All while trying to make the lives of everyone around them just a little bit better. I try to make sure they don't stumble and fall. And when they finally do, I help them back up. Aww. So it, it does. <laughs> Sometimes it is. But I want the children to know that until they can stand on their own two feet, that I'm here to support them, care for them, love them. Well, that's that nice. even if we're not actually related, we're still a family. A real family, in all the ways that matter. If I can do that for them, then, well, then maybe I'm making this world a better place. I know you are. My predecessor taught me everything I know. I just took up his torch and ran with it, I guess. Uh, not that I'm anything close to what he was. <laughs> She's talking about Biggs. That's so nice when you find out she's talking about Biggs. Biggs also did, uh, like somebody earlier mentioned a Biggs in the Leaf House, like, offhandedly, so this is that, uh, 
I think Biggs and Wedge both grew up in this orphanage, if I remember that bit of dialogue earlier. Oh, so you just have, like, a stock of those, I see. Oh, uh, we just lost it, though. Then come to the hideout. Hmm. That is another side quest we could do. I guess we can see what it's all about. Uh, you know what? It's fine. Uh, yeah. Because, like, man, that. Uh. Oh, no, wait. It's not this way. Because I do want to move on to the next part of the game. I'm really looking forward to the next part of the game. But. We'll see what this is all about first. Oh yeah, uh, Nail Bat. By the way, we have that now. That is a weapon for Cloud. As you can see, it is in fact a bat full of nails. Uh, you actually do, like, when you're in combat, uh, you'll actually, yeah, as you can see, you'll wind up. You'll wind it up and actually swing it. It's really cool. I really, I really like this weapon. Uh, we have SP for all of our weapons, but what's if we start, uh, oh, hang on, I didn't mean to equip it. Uh, Let's spend all of our SP. How do I do that again? Oh, that's over in a different menu. Upgrade weapons, here it is. Okay, so if I remember right, this was the latest core, which is, yeah, I gotta have the best stuff. That takes 12, though. So I'm actually gonna hold off on that, because that has all the best stat upgrades. Iron Blade can take one of those 12 upgrades, and I don't think I have the material. Oh, no, I do have the material slot, so. Trade-off. Recover MP when receiving significant damage. That's really good. Attack power plus 12. Magic attack power plus 8. Magic power plus 8. Yeah, we'll definitely unlock this. That is a really, really good ability. Hmm. Kind of makes me want to equip this, but let's see what the nail bat has. Let's so take a sip of water here. <coughs> Excuse me. Nail bat. Nail bat. Okay, first thing I definitely want to get is Materia slots. Those are definitely the most important upgrade. And I don't think it actually starts with any. I'm pretty sure the Nail Bat has the lowest uh, Materia slots, but... Debuff resistance, physical defense, crippling damage, weapon ability, critical hit rate. 10% is a that's a big boost for critical hit rate. Oh, there is another new material slot here. Let's get that. Okay, so what are the other ones here? Attack damage, critical hit rate, 50% boost with low HP. Pfft. So you can see what the bat's all about. I'm pretty sure when I'm pretty sure you do the wind-up motion when you get crits, so. We have 40 SP. Let's just, like, way up our crit rate here. Boom. Um, and then let's also get... Oh, there's a critical hit rate boost here, too. Let's see if we get that. And then there's a crit damage boost here as well, I thought I saw. Yep. Alright. I don't think we're even really losing. We're losing one materia slot. That's fine. Let me see what the actual difference looks like right now. It's only minus five in every stat and minus 100 HP. And also, we haven't actually like unlocked the actual uh, stat upgrades. So once we do that, those minuses won't even be a factor. I want to play with this, so I'm going to equip it. And okay, what do we have right now? Healing and Assess. Uh, we, we're done with Fire. Air is working on Lightning. And... Oh, we had Ice, that's right. So let's equip this one. And we're working on Wind. And what else are we going to work on? HP up, luck up. Oh, we definitely want luck up for sure if we're gonna be on a crit rate build. I wonder if we if there's anything better to have than oh, because we don't have deadly dodge anymore, which I think we definitely do want. Oh, nobody has auto cure right now. Let's fix that. I think that's also another reason why I've been like in the red a little bit more is because I'm used to somebody having that MP up. We're still oh, we have barely made any progress on that. 
But I think I'd rather have auto cure. Yeah, that's fine. All right. Yeah, that looks good to me. Sounds like you had a real us folks in the forest. I heard there's something going around called the people who need it. Plus again, like the minus five attack. It's going to matter so little with how many more crits we're, we're about to be getting. Because we didn't have any crit rate ups before on our old weapons. I mean, we had the luck up materia, but... We can finally play whack -a -box again. It's all thanks to oh, I know what this is. There's this tired looking guy out by the community center. And I uh, do I want to do this right now? I really don't want to do this right now. This is like a mini game. You, I'll, I'll do it once. I'll do it once. Well, we'll see how well we do. You're just in time for our favorite game, Whack a Box. You want in? It's not as much fun as darts. It's not as much fun as darts. <laughs> darts is probably just my favorite mini game in this game, and it's the one right at the beginning. We usually don't let adults play, but since you're cool, we're going to make a dartboard later. Uh, I really, I trying to remember if there is. Um. Well, you know what? We'll get a Moogle medal if nothing else. A spectral cog wheel. I have no idea what that is. We could, you know what? A second Crescent Moon Charm would not be bad at all. So maybe we should try for that. We'll see how well we do. Destroy as many boxes within the time limit. Each box will add your score. And once the timer reaches zero, the game is over. We should target score to win. The durability effects and score differ with each type of box. Hitting blue boxes rapidly fills your ATB gauge. In whack -a box you can only use the weapon ability of your corpse weapon and the braver ability. I have no idea what the weapon ability of my weapon is right now. Red boxes extend your time. Got it. Wait, a minute and a half looks like? Okay, I've got my ATB, so let's do that. Disorder. Deliver a devastating attack and switch modes in one fluid motion. Let's try it. Oh, wow. There it is. That's the attack. Oh, it's when you're in Punisher mode. That's what it is. I see. Yeah, when you're in Punisher mode, you do a, you do the wind-up. Oh, my God. This is not breaking. Come on. Break, please. There we go. So satisfying. Right, uh, let's use Braver. So long. There we go. Oh, I see a timer box over there. I need to go get that. Oh, those are easy to destroy too. That's good. Use another braver, yeah. Oh, there's a timer box up there. Yeah, okay, good, we got it. Oh, we also got 20,000, so there's our second crescent moon charm. Okay, if 30,000 is a top prize, it's actually not bad at all. Oh, I, I please tell me I actually hit that. Please tell me I did not miss that. There we go. Oh, yeah, we got 30,000 right there, so. Okay, this wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be, as far as getting the high score or whatever goes. So do we get all of them? Like, do I get every prize, or do I have to play multiple times? If I have, if I have to play again for a uh, Crescent Moon Charm, I'll, I'll do that. Oh, it was actually more fun than I thought it would be. Yeah, we got it all. Good, 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 good. Okay. We got that all in one fell swoop. Okay, so what is a spectral cogwheel? 
Uh, it's not an item. It's not a key item. Is it an accessory? Oh, it is. Of converting a mystic cog capable of converting ethereal ethereal energy into power. What does that mean? I actually don't remember at all. Hang on. Okay, so if I go to equip this... Oh, consuming MP fills the limit gauge. Oh, that's not bad. Okay, what do I have right now, though? Enter battle with a slightly filled ATB gauge. So this is better for short battles. This is better for long battles, basically. I mean, yeah, we'll definitely just equip that then. Oh, become immune to... Oh, I didn't realize I had these. When did I get these? Become immune to slow, become immune to stop. I guess if you're going into a fight where you know that's good. Also, Salvation Badge. Effectiveness of healing spells cast on you. Oh, yeah, we had the... Yeah, yeah, I remember this. Okay, yeah, we'll definitely keep the Spectral Cogwheel on. Okay, that was worth. I'm glad we did that. I see another side quest marker up there. I mean, it's on the way, so we might as well... Oh, there we go. Might as well see what it is, you know. Oop. Sorry. Also, see, we have a few more people in chat. Welcome, lurkers. Hope you are doing well. It's you. Oh, I know. I. Oh, my God. I know exactly who this is. Fuck this guy. Yep. I'm Damon. Little more than a humble reporter with the daily buzz. Uh, so you got the uh, press pass. The one that's always printing awful rumors about the slums. On the contrary, my dear. It's got a Shinra He's press pass. Of the plight of our undercity brethren. We seek a better future for everyone, rich and poor. Now then, my friends, I find myself in need of your exceptional services for a trifling matter. Are you familiar with the mysterious and notorious... What happened to Damon Gant? Oh my god, I haven't thought about that she case in a long time. To her victims, usually Shinra I actually have the Phoenix Wright collection for on Switch, but it's like... <gasps> it's never as fun as the first time you play it, though, that's the thing. Like, I love the Phoenix Wright games, and I've replayed the first one, but it's never as fun as the first time you play it. she is a criminal and a threat to the public order. I've made it my... Yeah, it's like... <sighs> the, the, the replayability of that series is unfortunately very low, which is a shame because of how good those games are. My sources have all deserted me. Which brings me to you. The work of the hour and the man who will serve Yeah, it's one of those games that makes you want the, like, men in black memory stick. Like, if I could adjust that for just the Phoenix Wright games and flash myself in the face, 100% would do it. Uh, what do we have to do? I'll welcome any and all oh yeah, we're. To the so I, I totally process. talked over this nerd because I, I can't stand this guy, but we're looking for the angel of the slums. Why hello? What is it? The guardian angel of the slums? Such a mysterious figure, always talked about but never seen by anyone. The hmm. angel gets in and out without being noticed and always leaves a calling card. <gasps> Maybe a magician. A magician? Like no Mask de Mask? Can you imagine? <laughs> has it that the angel is a witch? If we're going by rumors, then... That was honestly probably my favorite star. case well, in the third Ace Attorney game, was the Mask de Mask case. I've seen people say they hate it. I've seen a couple of people online say they hate it. I love it. That's my favorite case. In that game, it might be my, like I don't know. I just I love the uh, I love the the characters in that game. That's a or in that case rather. That's a wholesome case. It's really like it was one of those cases. Like I feel like in Phoenix, right? The cases are either like you, you either immediately know where they're gonna go. Oh wow, you definitely have a unique looking model. That's for sure. Good to see you again, Murray. Murray. Um, but yeah, I feel like the Phoenix right cases you either like know where they're gonna go or you don't. This song actually kind of sounds like the Mask to Mask theme, too, now that I think about it. But that was one of those cases where I had no idea what was going to happen. I was very much just along for the ride. It was so good. The kids have been talking about you. 
the defender of the secret I think that's also like the only now, case in the trilogy that's not about a murder but about a heist right am I remember am I remembering that right I am. <laughs> I'm a lover of the whispered word not that it's any real secret considering how chatty the Chinra mutt's been yeah to an extent okay yeah yeah that's kind of what I remember call it curiosity Oh, could it be you've fallen under the angel's spell like so many others? <laughs> anyway, it so happens that I have some information. I like this character, Mirei. Need a moment before Merle? I give it to what, what did they say, Mirei? I actually forgot what they said, but um, she's not like part of the main story or anything, but she'll be in in a few side quests. Also, I I was not paying attention, did not hear what she said, but I think we just talked to the reporter again. Yeah. So, any news? Have you tried talking to Marae at all? Marae. She there told us go. that she had some information to share. Marae? As in the Marae? The town gossip? I chased her for days begging for info, but she wouldn't give up a single scrap. Now I wonder why. So how'd you get the old bird to talk? Oh, well, we're this not... old bird had a change of heart. <laughs> I was going to say, we're not, uh, really? we're not Shinra nerds. What do you know about the notorious angel of the slums? Has she struck again? Is that it? I don't know anything about that. But I do know where her hideout is. Her base of operations? Now that's a scoop! Where is it? Tell me! Deep in the scrap, at Lookout Point. Hardly anyone goes out there these days. It's the perfect place for a criminal to hold up. Lookout Point! Got it! I'll check it out right now! But before you go, I should. I was gonna say, you're gonna get eaten alive, alive by monsters halfway there. The team that's claimed the angel's hideout as its lair. Oh! <gasps> Quite large. Lots of teeth. Always hungry. I don't know about you, but I'd not go anywhere near that thing. Oh, well, uh... Turns to us. Well, a good <laughs> oh, I bet it was, I bet it was gonna turn to us there. Risks. A plan first, then act. That's every respectable journalist's motto. If it's a plan you're looking for, there we go. I'd say you have one right here. I was gonna say, well, I was gonna say, how about the person with the big sword, but we don't have a sword anymore. It would be lovely if you investigated Lookout Point for me. All right. That's the uh, place we fought the other one, right? Kinda, yeah. Okay, so we're gonna want to take a right at the Yui. Chadley? <laughs> I wonder what he was talking about that he just said out loud. This uh, song reminds me a lot of a Mother 3 song. I don't remember what it's called, but there's a Mother 3 song that sounds just like this. I was thinking about it earlier when we were here. I don't know how many y'all of y'all have played Mother 3, but it's a really, uh, really fucking good game. Um, we going the right way? Yeah, we're going the right way. Yep. Uh, we do or do not go up the ladder. We do not go up the ladder. Actually, wait a second. Ah, oh, that's right. That's what's up there. Yep. We can't do that yet. Um. Grab those. Oh, it wasn't actually in combat yet. There we go. Oh, it makes such a satisfying sound too when you smack enemies with it. Just, just go away. Get him. That wasn't so bad. Nah, that was fine. Um, we need to go this way. Harder. Harder. Oh, this way. Oh, well, I think that would be it. 
Come on. I'm with you. Let's go. And catch. Stay back. Let's assess this thing. I imagine it's weak to thunder being a machine. Yep. Normally, attacks don't affect his stagger gauge, but inflicting a certain amount of physical damage does make it susceptible to staggering. Furthermore, hitting its wrecking ball with magic attacks will quickly fill its stagger gauge. Good to know. So target the wrecking ball in particular. With magic attacks. With magic attacks! Oh my god. That was close. Oh god almighty. That does a lot of damage. You definitely want to get out of the way when it does that. Um... We are targeting it. Let's... Yeah, we're locked on. Oh, we can also do that from the menu, too. Now, you have Thunder App. So I'm definitely going to have you do that. There we go. Uh, let's have you drop a Blizzara. Let's have you drop a Fundara on it now that it's staggered. Look at that. Look how much damage that did. Look how much damage that did. Also, um. Ah, damn. I didn't get a staggered hit. Uh, with the, uh, Punisher mode. Oh, shit. Get out of the way of that. Get out of the way of that. Get out of the way of that. We're silence. It's fine. Take it from here. So it's my turn. <laughs> um, the sphere. Why don't you lead the Let's way? Get out of the way, of that please. Thank you. All right, spell Blizzara on the sphere. Keep it together. I'm coming. Oh wait, you have another spell. Let's uh. <laughs> I love whenever that happens. I love whenever you switch between Aerith to Cloud and she says, You got this, and Cloud's like, I got this. So it's my turn? Call me nice. Ooh, oh, that was bad. That was bad. Okay. Now we gotta use this spell as a cure on her. No instead of staggering that thing. It's actually almost staggered. Uh, so I should be attacking with her. Get him! There it is. Um, no, don't. I'll take care of this. Leave it to me. That's it. Now's our chance. Oh wait, no, 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 no! You have a limit. You have a limit, right? Somebody has a limit. You have a limit. Oh, we haven't seen this one yet. I don't think. Not looking good. So yeah, her. Uh, limit filled our ATP gauges, which is nice, uh, as well as our HP. Um, you need MP, though. Oh, we both need MP. So I'm gonna have you use an ether on Aerith, and then I'm also gonna have Aerith use an ether on herself, because Cloud is silenced. Get out of the way, please! Oh my god. Oh my god, that scared the shit out of me. Oh, that wrecking ball is about to come down on her. Alright, you're silenced. You're still doing Need okay, right? Take the lead. Get out of the way of that, please. Thank you. I wonder if we can just drop Thundaras on it and just like finish it. How shocking. Uh nah, we should probably still be targeting the wrecking ball. Taking over. I'm weak. Yeah, I got you. Don't overdo it. Come on, you can help. Go on. Get him. Can you take over for a bit? Here goes. Yeah. All right. Um. We have the MP and we have the ATB, so let's do that and do that again. You can do it. I got this. Ah, we're really close. I'll show no, you no, no, what no, I can no. do. Yeah, it'll be like. Hopefully, this blizzard will do it. No, it didn't. Oh, it did. It killed it actually. 
Alright. Guardian Angel's calling cards obtained. Of the slums. <coughs> Excuse me. On behalf of the poor. This must be one of her calling cards. I don't see anything else interesting. Let's head back and tell him what we found. Some of the reason I like doing the side quests in this game is you get to fight uh, more bosses. Boss fights are always fun. I can't believe it! You found one of her calling cards! This is the genuine article. I'm sure of it. Pinned by the angel herself! Oh, are you sure? Mm. So this is one of her famous warnings. It's an incredible find. Oh, was that all? Hold on. Looks like there's something else. A message. To the nosy Shinra reporter sniffing around, I was planning to teach you a lesson you would never forget. However, by the grace of your mercenary friend, you were spared that lesson. But next time, he might not be around to save you. It would be wise to watch your step. Not just a message from the angel. A warning. <laughs> That's not the reaction you were supposed to have, but all right. Sorry about that, friend. Here I was, just trying to help you out. But instead, my kindness almost got you violently killed. Well, we're used to being almost violently killed. That's not good. No harm. No foul, right? In any case, I hope this narrowly averted tragedy won't discourage you from sharing information with me in the future. Hey, everybody! The angel left another calling card! She's gonna rip up Don Corneo! It's about damn time! Don Corneo, huh? Corneo's no easy mark. I can't wait to see how this goes down. Excuse me, I'm a reporter for the Daily Buzz and... So much for my reward. Here, why don't you take this? Oh, and no need to thank me. Let's just <laughs> That's <order's> good. Bucket. <laughs> Can't call it theft if you're just claiming what you're owed. Am I right? Nope. Well done, Mr. Merck. Oh, no, you are right, rather. This is what I meant to say. You know what I mean. Okay. We probably ought to call it a day. Yeah, I was going to say, I'm pretty sure that's the last side quest. I wasn't actually planning on doing all of them, but it didn't take as long as I thought it would. That too. Hey, sucked. Because they didn't know if you were worth it yet. But now they do. Come on, let's go home. Let's try it. This, this way, I think, right? Yeah. Oh, no, it's up there. Oh. Whoop. There we go. All right, we did the side quest. We fought Rude right over there. I mean, Aerith, if you didn't want to have boss fights right next to your house, you probably shouldn't have a boss fight arena right next to your house, but... But you know what? I think for... Wait a sec. Oh. I was going to say, I think for property this beautiful, it's worth it to have a boss so, fight arena. are you coming? Yeah. Can't run here, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. It's all good. Don't want to anyway. Well, she's definitely running. Oops. Oh, now we can run. Oh, oh, there's that materia over there again. You talking to the shh. <laughs> so yeah, it was that kind of day. <sighs> Let's go. Shouldn't keep mom waiting. Hey. What'd they say? <laughs> Good work today, guys. Aw. I like that cloud ask. Kidding. They didn't say a word. But, you know... Uh, never mind. It's not like you'd believe me, after all. Well, now you gotta say it. Probably not. 
<laughs> Tell me anyway. Really? Yeah. Yeah. It won't be much longer now. The flowers, they... They have something important to tell us. Hmm. Something they need to share with us. At least, that's the feeling I get. But before they can, there's a final step that has to be taken. Hmm. Otherwise, we won't hear them. Maybe I should just give up. Honestly, it's what I do best. Oh, I don't think so. Me. Yeah, exactly. From what I've seen, you're no quitter. Well, today's special. That's why I've been working my butt off. Uh, what's so special about it? I wonder, Cloud. <laughs> <laughs> okay, time to go. <laughs> yep. Good answer, Aerith. Learn to talk to her. Aww. Did the flower say anything? Uh, good work today, guys. <laughs> That's the spirit. They say, I want this materia. What is this anyway? It's purple, so it's an ability. Oh, it's another MP up. Oh, that's where you're supposed to get your MP up. I think I bought one earlier, but I, I was pretty sure you got a free one. Well, that's fine. We can have two. That's okay. You're heading in already? <laughs> uh, yeah, we did everything. Yeah, that's enough for one day. That's yeah, kind of like the point of no return marker there. Make sure you do those side quests if you want to. I've been worried sick. Sorry. We got a little sidetracked. Dinner's ready, in case you're wondering. Ah, great. But before we sit down, I want you to make up the guest room. Gotcha. Take a load off, okay? Judging by those eyes, I'm guessing you're a soldier. Everyone Ex knows soldier. that. <laughs> and he always says that. Ask, but would you leave tonight without any fuss? No questions. You boys made a trade. A normal life. For power. You can't have it both ways. I'm mm. back. Good. Now, I hope you're hungry. Damn. That's a, <laughs> that's a hell of a thing to say. <laughs> never been so proud. Oh. The man you've become. Women must be hounding you day and night. Not really. You know, there's all kinds of temptations in the big it's city. It's his mom. That is I'd his mom, by the way. I'd feel a lot better if I knew you'd found a good girl. One who'd make sure you didn't get into trouble. I can take care of myself. An older, more mature girl. I could keep you on the straight and narrow. And tell you when you're being a silly goose. <laughs> That's the perfect type for you, I'd say. It's one thing I really love about Cloud. I've, I've said this before, but like, he tries to be cool, but almost everyone who really knows him can just see through it. But it makes him a little more charming in a way. Don't want to overstay my welcome. Oh, Aerith left the party. Yeah, all right, guess it's uh, time to go, so to speak. Oh, that's right, this is a mini game. Try to seek out of the house without letting Aerith spot you. Be careful not to bump into anything by accident. Aerith will notice if you make too much noise. See, so yeah, this hallway is kind of like Littered with stuff that you can run into. They will run into one thing and just show you. Yeah, if you hit this bucket. What are you doing? 
Uh, uh, nothing. Did you have a bad dream? <laughs> Don't worry, you'll feel much better in the morning. I'm and I just, promise to take you straight home. I'm uh, just using the bathroom. <laughs> no. Please don't let her hear me again. So yeah, it'll it'll try to trip you up. It'll put you yeah, it'll put you right in the path of this bucket. You know, like nudge your way through. Cause I think if you hit this Ah, yep. That's gonna make a sound too. You jerk. I thought I told you not to leave your room. Now get back in there. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Excuse me. The way he says okay, like a kid. Yeah, you don't get that many like unique lines of dialogue, so I'm not gonna like keep trying to mess up on purpose. Oh, they remove the bucket. That's, that's right, they do actually make this easier if you screw up multiple times. So, okay, we wanna... Like, look at this. I feel like she did this on purpose. Like, I feel like when her mom told her to set up the guest room, this is, like, actually what she was doing. But I'm just gonna, like... <clears throat> yep. You're leaving? So, how do I get to Sector 7? It's simple enough. Just cut through Sector 6. It isn't exactly safe, but you should be okay, seeing as you're a soldier. Was one. Promise me, you'll never talk to Aerith again. Please. He always makes that point. It. Thank you. Alright, well, see ya, I guess. Oh my god, this place is even more gorgeous at night! Look at this! <sighs> I want your house. This is a beautiful house, but I guess we're never coming back here again because Elmira doesn't want us to see Aerith. There is actually a reason for that, but I don't remember if and when we get to it in this game. I'm pretty sure we do at some point. Surely we do, right? Surely that... that that scene must be in this game. Yeah, yeah, it definitely If it is. isn't the new florist, I appreciate you helping the kids out today. Thank you. They won't stop talking about the soldiers. Oh, we have equipment we never day. checked out. I just remember that. Oh, and make sure to give my thanks. Oh no, no, we did, too. we did. Yeah, it was the sure. uh, the accessory. But okay. It's so much weirder when no one's around here, honestly. It's a lot less charming. Oh wait, we missed a turn. Might as well check out Walmart while I'm down here. I believe me, buddy, I am right there with you. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, didn't think it was going to be that easy, did you? Well, look who it is. Talk about a coincidence. What are you doing here? Waiting. She Why? knew. Because I'm not sick of you yet. <laughs> Lead on, then. Yes. Yeah, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh oh! It's playing the beat, the intro music again. And he cried. Dad? Is something wrong? Oh, it's nothing. He hard turned away. Also, I really love that the game does that. I love that it makes Aerith leave your party to like you can see the sky. They're still working on the new plate. Yep, I don't like this part of Midgar. Back when they were still building Midgar, there was an accident and the plate fell. People mm. had only just started moving in, so there weren't a lot living there at the time. But yeah, it's still some shit. And again, 
kind of don't get why people live in the city. Well, again, the people in the slums don't have a choice, but... Even if you live up top, would you want to live up there knowing that part of this fucking fell? Also, yes, Walmart. Walmart. Right? I didn't tell you. I enlisted pretty much right after I left home. Don't know much about this place or any of the slums. Well, it took a lot of people to build Midgar, and they all needed to blow off steam. Walmart. Walmart. built an entertainment district. Inns, shops, bars, the works. It's Vegas. It's fantasy Vegas. <laughs> I'm totally here for it. Business was booming. Money was flowing. Which attracted the attention of some guys who didn't much care for the law. And now there isn't any. Right. It's Vegas. It's, it's, it's just Las Vegas. <laughs> the government decided to just wall it in. And that's how Walmart began. Out of sight, out of mind, as the old saying goes. For the folks in charge, there's no better way to deal with it. So it's like a giant veil. Yeah. Want to see what's behind it? Not really. That's good. Because I know a better way to get to Sector 7. Gambling, my favorite. No, not at all. I actually don't like Doesn't gambling either, well really. It. And it's just through this tunnel here. Well... At least it was, back when I was a kid. I don't know, I... I, I... I definitely had fun uh, the couple of times I went to Vegas, but like the thing is, um, w when I set aside money for those trips to like gamble, like you gotta view that as just money you're spending, like not actually, like I can't imagine how stressful it would be to go in with the intention of making money. Now the second time I went, I did actually end up making some a game, I was gonna say, so you don't move, Google Metal. I actually did end up making, like, some amount of money, because, uh, I mostly played Blackjack, and that's the game you have the best odds in, but... Blackjack's fun, also. There's a lot of skill expression in Blackjack. There is in Texas Hold'em, too. That's why I like that game, too. But, like, you definitely can't just, like, sit at a slot machine and expect to make money. That's, like, you're just spending money at that point. Also, great song alert! You know, ever since the plate fell. And there's no other way? It'll be an adventure. Love the music in this part of the game. It's really good. Three. Keep it together. I'm coming. This one's for you. You'll see. Get ready. So long. All right, that wasn't so bad. Yeah, whenever those enter, they're like whirling, spinny mode. It's always really annoying to deal with them. But Aerith is actually pretty good at it because she can attack from afar. So. Piece of cake. Yeah. Go on. <laughs> oh god, we just got knocked way the hell back. Get him. Where are you? Oh, I need to assess these things. Not just for the, uh... Actually, I don't know if we still need to be doing that for Chadley. I just kind of assume we do, but... It's also, it's it's actually handy to do so, just to know what things are weak to you. Okay, so this thing is weak to error, which we actually have arrows, so I'll use that here. Oh, it's on Aerith. Oh, no, we don't have it on. Never mind, JK. That's fine, we don't need it. We did have it on before we switched weapons, that's what it was. What's that? A big arm. Kinda cute, don't you think? <laughs> it's a big arm. This was also a set piece in the original game, but only for like two oh, screens. Great. Someone's pulled up the ladder. I wonder if we can use this. Robot Arm Instruction Manual. 
Left trigger to raise or lower. Right trigger to rotate. B to have Aerith climb on or off. Warning for safety only load or unload the arm within the yellow, uh, the area marked by the yellow lines. <laughs> That's cute. Okay, so let's uh, go here. Yeah, I got gotcha. you. an idea. I'll hop on and you give me a ride. You serious? Absolutely. I'll throw down the ladder for you to climb up after. <sighs> All right. So now we go this way. Oh, sorry, Aerith. Oh, okay. Alright, you can get off now, can you not? <laughs> uh, Aerith? You wanna get off now? Oh no, I think I have to- Oh, yeah, 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 I have to actually go to the loading area, that's right. There we are. Uh, he's a cake. Give me What's up, Alnick? Hope you're doing well. Well, what did I tell ya? We're coming up on my favorite part of the game. Although, like I said, I probably will end off pretty shortly after we get to Wall Market, but you did it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's right. <laughs> I forgot about this right. part. Good enough. Let's keep on trucking. Just, const just constantly shake the hand. <laughs> Did we wake it up? Also, Cloud does not know how to high five. Don't overdo it. I'm actually gonna use Aerith to build up her gauge for a Thundara. Why don't you lead the way? Uh, you can use a Mozara as well. Why not? And a focus test. So every time it's doing that bloop, that means we're getting a critical, by the way. Ow. Oh, I did not mean to uh, attack only the arm. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. There we go. Woo. Thank god for auto heal. <laughs> Also, speaking of healing, let's do that. Okay. What's up? I wonder if someone blocked it all because of all the monsters that kept showing up. Pretty dangerous place for kids to play. Raised in the slums, remember? <laughs> True. Hmm. That's supposed to be a compliment. I don't know if anybody else in chat grew up in, like, I grew up in a very American suburb, and so, like, yeah, when we were kids, we would, uh, play on, like, the houses that were being built. And sometimes they'd leave a bulldozer, and you could, like, or not a bulldozer, but, like, you know what I mean. Just some kind of, like, piece of heavy machinery, and of course they'd never leave the key. It's not like we'd start them up or anything, but, like, they'd usually leave the door open, so you just, like, get in and sit in it. I don't know. It was fun. Uh, nothing behind me? Okay. Just want to make sure. Oh. Got more of these seahorse things. I really hate fighting these, honestly, because, like, as soon as you get down to, like, half HP, or not even half, yeah, they start doing that whirling, yeah, this thing. This whirling attack, and now you can really only hit them with the magic. It's so annoying. On you. I'll take care of them. Oh, I, I, I keep needing to figure out what they're weak to. Let me, uh, do that. Let's do it right. Okay, so they are weak to ice. That's what I thought. Keep it together. I'll show you what I can do. Stay. Too bright. <laughs> Ah! <laughs> 
Uh, let's focus on B. I was gonna say we need to heal. No need to panic. Yeah, we're good. We're good. Whatever. Alright, whatever. We'll just attack whichever one we can at this point. All right. Yeah, I was gonna say it. Finally, um, stop doing the whirling mode. They do it for so long too. It's like, yeah, and they just go right back into it. Oh, you know what? Well, you got enough ETB gauge to lay down another blizzard. There we go. Um, we're actually running low on ethers. We're actually using magic a lot lately. It's more of those uh, smoker robots. Oh. Got another big hand. Hey, I bet you can grab that container with the arm. So now we have another button to drop or to grab and release the container. And are we putting it over on the other side? Yeah, to make a bridge, right? Not half bad. So do you moonlight as a crane operator or something? <laughs> yeah? Uh, <laughs> I love it. Cloud canonically does not know what a high five is. <laughs> and he looks at his own hand. I love that scene so much. Lucky for me, you'll make this easier. Yes, ma'am. Well then, I'm gonna head down. Okay. Um, we're gonna put this. We're gonna raise. Oh right, right okay, six a little bit. Ready. Oh. Can I? Hang on. I saw the button for a second there. There it is, there it is. I was just too close to the side, that's all. Alright, uh, now let's go pick up Aerith. Most important lore for Cloud, what is a high five? Cloud's too cool to high five, I guess. I don't know, or too cool to know what one is. Hey, Earth, you want to grab that material while you're over there? Hold on a second. Yeah. Thank you. Binding. Gotcha. Does he low five? See, the thing I always do with this arm is I always want to bring it up to okay, the platform. Right but you gotta bring it up on top so that way she can, yeah, jump off. Hold of it. on while I drop the ladder. Okay. Pretty simple. I'm trying to remember if there's another one. A tough. T oh, Phoenix Down. That was actually a really good pickup. Oh, shit. What's back here? Oh, no, okay. Oh, there was a treasure chest. I thought there was one down here. It's a mega potion. Neat. Yeah, I mean, as long as you're looking out for those crates, over here. you never have to, like, spend money on, on items ever in this game. I might buy some ethers, actually, because we are actually kind of low on those, and those are pretty helpful. Oh, hey, speak of the devil. Let's, um... Oh, okay, we're gonna do a cutscene first. Well, jumping's not an option. That's for sure. Hmm. Look. Mm -hmm. Someone made a campfire. They found a way down. 
So can we. Okay. Ooh, we got music here too. Cosmo Canyon. If you remember, that's actually the drink that Tifa made for us at the beginning of the game. Also, 500 gil for one ether? That's not worth it at all. Are you kidding me? That's a lot. That's a fucking lot. What kind of material do we have here? Revival. Yeah, I still don't think that's worth it. And, okay, we're good. God, this song is so good. I love this song. Uh, okay, so we gotta find Try a way down. That way I can cover your back. We gotta fight these drakes first. <laughs> I love that the jukebox music is getting into the fight. That's good. Any idea what you're gonna play once you finish this? I've actually uh, thought about that a little bit. Um, part of me wants to heal real quick. Part of me wants to just uh, kind of continue on Final Fantasy Fridays. I, I want to play Final Fantasy X because I haven't played that game in a long time, and that's like that's just my favorite Final Fantasy. So I might do that. I might pick uh, a shorter game, I haven't decided yet. I might do like a shorter game and then Final Fantasy X, but yeah, I just haven't decided yet. This song is also pretty good. There we go. Lore, we skip three numbers, go to... <laughs> That's good. Um, actually, how do I get down? I don't remember. Oh, do we have to go back? Is that what we have to do? Like, back and around? Yeah, because the earth is still back here, so... Um... God, I really don't remember, actually, this part. What Whoa, we have to do. Not too fast, okay? Got it. Okay, we are going the right way. Good. Rats. It's just regular rats, no were rats. Wonder how important they are. Well, so the thing with the Final Fantasies is that the uh, the games don't actually have anything to do with each other. Well, they usually don't have anything to do with each other. Like, the mainline games are all their own separate stories. So there will be nothing lost skipping from 7 to 10. 10 is very much its own separate thing from 7. Uh, they do occasionally do sequels. 10 has a sequel. It's called 10 2. Uh, same with 13. There's 13 2 and 13 3. Anybody around? Guess it's just us. Mm. Kind of doubt that with this fire, though. There are also sometimes, very occasionally, they'll be like a uh, set place in the same world. Like Tactics and 12. I need to get back. Are set place in the same world, but they're also separate stories. I fucking I love this song too. How stupid can you be? It's crazy simple. Compensatory damages is like uh it's like compensation. For damages! Oh yeah! <laughs> That's what you get when you no when somebody else <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we were just passing These through. fucking guys. Oh a likely story. Beck and Brooke okay. together have oh, one functional shirt. It's, it's so true. That's all. Do recompense is the name of this song, by the way. I love this song. Do recompense? No shit for brains. <laughs> I think we've heard enough. Agreed. Ah, uh, this song is so good. Can I assess these guys actually? I got your number. 
They all count as one assassin or do I have to assess them individually? Oh yeah. <laughs> These guys have really, really funny death poses. This dude always falls like that. Oh shit, Butch actually stunned me. As you can see, Burke kind of falls over and just clenches his shoulder and stomach. Cloud, why are you defending? Get in there, Jesus. Okay, guys, whatever you do, don't move. Don't look. Just don't look. I'm dead. I'm super dead. Ah, well, I guess they're super dead. Ah, this song is so good. Oh yeah, you can actually like, yeah, fuck with it. Fuck with their ragdolls. It's kind of cool. That's a good song. I really like that song. All the music in the well, I mean, all the music in this game period is really, really good. Even people who prefer the original to the remake, I I've heard pretty unanimously say, like, yeah, but the soundtrack is actually super fire. Um, but especially this stretch of the game, as just banger after banger after banger when it comes to the songs. Oh shit, we're going backwards. Hang on. What am I doing? Well, I can get these crates in the nest. Wait, are we going backwards? No. Yes. No, we aren't. Wait. No, okay, we were going backwards. That was weird. Okay. I thought this looked familiar. <laughs> Can I run yet? Thank you. Yeah, I thought this was the door they were standing in front of. It, play, it starts playing the music again when we walk back in here. <laughs> That's good. I don't know why that made me laugh, but it did. That was the door they were standing in front of the cutscene. That's why I thought it was the way forward. I was trying to think of why I thought that. Shit! Let's get the hell out of here! Who are you guys? Don't leave me! I'm coming! Oh, here we go. Random question, but why did you quit being a soldier? That is random. You don't have to tell me if you don't want to. Um, did you have any soldier friends? Any war buddies? No. Not really. Oh, okay. Hmm. That... Oh, shit. Yeah, so, uh, they're, they're kind of random enemies now, but... It's not exactly them, but, um... That was a very interesting exchange that Aerith and, and Cloud just had, and if you don't know a lot about the story, you might not know the significance behind it, but trust me when I say that is a very significant exchange. And if you do know the story, I do, but there are some in chat that don't, so please, please no spoilers. Uh, let's take care of the bandits first. Oh, they're already done. Okay. Oh my god, okay. Um yeah, let's uh let's drop into the thunder on this thing. You jittery? Why don't you leave the There we go. Moving on then. Uh yeah, just on yourself, it's fine. Okay. Oh, we got another one of these. I thought we had one more. Stupid ladders, always out of reach. Okay, Cloud. It's almost okay, like we're in a video game or something. You're in charge of the arm. Got it? Which one? Oh, there's another material. Oh, it's blue? 
What the fuck is a blue materia? I'm trying to remember. Um, oh, it's now we have the additional button of Y to switch arms. Okay, um... If we're gonna start by picking this up, we need to get this out of the way, so that way we can grab her. Let's also, while we're at it, drop it up here so she can grab this materia for us. Way more. There we go. Yeah, I'm pretty sure what I'm doing right now is optional, but I want that materia. Oops. There we go. Just gotta get in right, just the right spot. Also, you don't have to lower it as much. I always think you have to lower it to the ground, but doing the button animation will do that for you, so. Alright, let's put... Oh, oh right. Right stick. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, what is this? I'm very curious. Magnify. Gotcha. I don't remember what that does off the top of my head. Oh, I think blue materials are specifically ones that work when linked. And we haven't done that yet, because I think this is our first blue materia. So once we're done with these robot arms, we'll go ahead and check that out. Oh, we will check it out, just like the song says. Um, oh, we don't need that crate, I'm pretty sure. Oh, wait, hang on, hang on, hang on. Oh, no, 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 wait, 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 wait. I remember what we do here. I remember this, I remember this. We gotta, okay. Let's get Aerith out of the way, and then... Oh, no, we can switch arms while we're holding her. Okay, so I thought... We're gonna have to do that, but let me see if I can lower her. Yeah, there we go, okay. I don't know why you can walk, couldn't have walked over there, but okay. Okay, um, raise, oh no, it's just a change, right? Okay, good, it'll get that one out of the way automatically. Okay, this one, we need to get this out of the way first. Because otherwise she can't get over there. All right, you're gonna move, right? So I can put this down here? No, you're not, okay. Um, I don't know where to put this then. Oh, did I need to... Yeah. Maybe I don't need to move this. Aerith, please tell me you will just hop down from this. If I take you over there. No. She's just like not moving. What the fuck is going on here? Okay. Can we change arms again? Oh my god. <laughs> ah! I don't remember this part at all. Okay, let's get you out of the way and let's put that. I think I was supposed to put the container down there first. Alright, we have to. There we go. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I was supposed to put the container down first. Yeah, because then I can put her on top of it and then grab her from the other arm on top of it. But you can't switch arms while she's on one of the arms. I'm going to have to drop her off first. Okay, I see. I see. Okay, now I can switch arms. Puzzles, video games, they're fun. <laughs> Because this isn't even this isn't even really much of a puzzle, but it kind of is at the same time. No, video games are weird, but cool. Nope. Wait, game. Tell me. 
Can I really not put this down here? Oh my god. <laughs> what am I supposed to do? God, I, uh... God, I really don't know, actually. Hang on. Yeah, okay, let me place this. I'm not gonna have to look this up, am I? What the fuck? Okay, what, what do I do here? I'm trying to remember. I can't put the container down there for some... Oh, can I really not? Let me try this again. Oh my god. Is that really not the solution? Because there's, like, an area right for it and everything. Right? Let me bring it all the way up. And come down. No. And moving over here doesn't help. Oh, <laughs> try stacking the containers. Thank you, game. I'm really glad they said that. <laughs> well, stacking them where, though? Hang on. Let me, root Hang on. Let me change arms again. I don't know what the fuck the game wants me to Oh, it wants me to put them both. Okay. Got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. Wait. I don't think I do have it, actually. Okay, I can't move this without offering her a ride first. So, we have to use this first container for, I guess, multiple things? Okay. I don't remember this at all, honestly. Okay, let's... Put you... Like... Back in the original spot, I guess. There we go. I wonder if I can't put the second container down there because it wants me to put the first one down there first. I hear you, game. No, 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 no. That was the wrong button. That was the wrong button. Don't move. Thank you. Nope, this way. Also, it's like inverted controls, which is really weird for steering these things. Uh, yeah, I don't remember this puzzle at all, honestly. Oh, I think I went the long way around. I did, because again, it's inverted controls. I thought it was turning the other direction, but... Okay. There we go. There we go. I had to put exactly this container here and not the other one. Okay, now we can switch arms. Grab this one. Yeah, you can tell this is a place where, like, people in testing kind of got a little lost with the... Because, yeah, they don't usually throw that little uh, reminder in for puzzles, but they did it here. Okay, okay. Now, now I think I see what we do. Now we can take Aerith and put her on top of the containers it's and then... Way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then the other arm can take her over to the platform now. Although really, I don't know. I maintain we could have picked her up in the other spot, dropped her on top of the container, and she really could have just hopped down, but... I mean, yeah, that is a far drop, but like... Come on, we're fighting monsters. We can fucking handle it. We've taken worse hits than that drop. There we go. <sighs> okay, all right. Now she can drop the ladder for us. <laughs> quicker than I, uh, quicker than I got you over there, I hope. Oh, she, she, she just casually kicks it down. Okay, let's get over there ourselves now. Oh, let's also, oh, not while I'm on the ladder. Yeah, let's, uh, let me look at this material real quick. Nope, no, 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 no. I always do this. 
Magnify allows you to extend, expand the range of spells with the linked materia. To switch back to a single target, press left bumper when selecting a spell. So, Magnify basically will turn a, your spells from single target to AoE, which is really cool. Um, but in order to do it, it has to be linked. It mentions that the material has to be linked. Linking and co-linking, it's a thing in this game too. Uh, so see how some of the material slots are like individual nodes, but some are connected? Um, yeah, so that's that's what it means to link materia, right? So if I so this is a uh, well, this is healing, which will actually work with that too. So if, at least it did in the original. I think it does in this game too. So healing is normally just on yourself, but if I drop magnify in this slot next to it, then it'll become an AOE heal. If I took ice down here and put magnify next to it, then the ice would become an AOE attack, um, which is cool. It's really neat. I'm not going to use it just yet, but it is definitely worth noting that we have that now. Actually, am I going to use it? I might as well. Well, I need the assess materia as a thing. Or I want it, I guess. I didn't assess those bandits either. I just realized that. That went pretty well. Sure did. Uh, oh. <laughs> Wait a minute. Did you just... Nope. <laughs> nope. He said nope. <laughs> Don't worry. We'll be on the same page next time. What are you talking about? I'm sorry, okay? <laughs> I love that exchange. I just love that whole high five exchange. Alright, now we can assess them. Allow me. Weak to fire. Use magic to rapidly fill their stagger gauge. Uh, these guys do not have a lot of HP at all. It's really like they can stun you, which is annoying, but One more shot. You don't exactly need to like strategize, I guess is what I'm saying, to beat these guys. I'm coming! There we go. We made it. Right. the fresh air. Uh, fresh, yeah. <laughs> oh, uh, I just love this emotion of him slowly bringing his, his arm up. We did it! We high-fived! We also made it through the area. Those of you who've played the original probably recognize this set piece. Alright, there it is. The gate to Sector 7. Looks shut. How do we open it? More importantly, how about we take a break? Sound good? No. I don't have time Up for- Up there looks nice. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> you know, a long time ago, I used to sell flowers here. Oh, yeah? <laughs> so, Cloud, you were a soldier first class, right? Yeah. Weird. Hmm. Really? What's weird about it? Nothing. Just that you were the same rank. Huh? As who? The first guy I ever loved. Yeah. What's his name? I probably know him. Ooh, he really did not like whatever name okay. she said. Wow. Uh, 
your eyes. Oh. It's because of the Mako. All soldiers have them. Yeah. I know. Hmm. Sorry. I'm bumming. Damn, I really want to... Well, hmm. I don't know if I should talk about that. There's actually a prequel game for Final Fantasy VII. I think it's called... Uh, I think. I know it's called Crisis Core. I've never played it. I want to play it sometime. Forward, not back. Supposed to be a really good game. Here. Hmm. This won't take long. Wanna get to Sector 7 in style? This is the passageway for you. Oh, is this where we so, part ways then? Oh. Go ahead. But I don't want to go you back to okay Sector 7 now. Yeah, you gotta go back that way. I said I wasn't. I'll go with you. I thought you needed to get back. <laughs> Don't worry. I have a backup route for emergencies, and it's safer too. <laughs> and we didn't take that one because. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I guess yeah. She left the party. This is it. We're we're going to Sector Seven now. So. I thought we were gonna go to this wall market place. You were talking it up, but yes, now I guess we gotta go eat Tifa first. Ready? Head to the Sector 7 slums. Yeah, I mean, I guess we're gonna have to do yeah. it. Let's go. Oh shit, well, if the gates are opening, we might not have to. Okay. That is a cowboy with a chocobo. And Tifa? Yeah, what are you What's going doing? On? <laughs> I'll explain everything later. Okay. I'm on my way to see Don Corneo. You should that's, back to that's the guy the angel was going to rip off. But I'll be fine. You've seen how much ass I can kick? I have. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Well, okay. Uh, I guess that's happening. Oh no, you don't. You're going after her. Yeah, I was gonna say we're really just gonna She's walk away. She can handle the likes of him, and worse. Uh uh. You don't know Corneo. It doesn't matter how strong or smart you think you are. He'll find a way to turn it against you. And where is she going to meet him? A mansion filled with his goons. Come on. Aren't you worried what might happen in there? You have to help her. Come on. Okay. Yeah, the game hits you with a double fake out. Yeah, we gotta hurry. <laughs> double fake out of Aerith leaving your party. Now we're, we're we're definitely not done, and we are in fact going to Wall Market. I just want to walk in and hear the music, and then I think I'll end the stream. But, uh, I just want to hear it. I love this place so much. Yeah! Here we are! Hey there! Where are you headed? You gave a ride to a girl earlier. Do you have any idea where she went? No, and if you don't need a ride, then get the hell out of here. Can't you see I'm trying to work? Can't say I can, no. <laughs> what you say to me, you little... What's all the ruckus out here? Mm. I don't know you. What's your story? We're looking for a girl who took one of your carriages. Can you help us find her? Depends. What do you want with this girl of yours? Guess. We want to save... 
save her from a life without this handsome guy. Huh? So, that's how it is, huh? Well, I get a lot of customers. Hard to keep track of them all. Yeah, Chocobo Sam here isn't exactly up to anything, uh, good. The girl we're looking for, she's in great shape, she's a great fighter, she's great at handling the books. She's actually good at all three of these things, because she does run the, uh, 7th Heaven, but I guess we'll say she's a great fighter. Um, she's a great fighter. I'm not sure that helps. Wait a minute, you talking about Tifa? <laughs> and then he immediately knew who we were talking about. Looks like someone's got a bit of a crush. Hate to break your heart, kid, but it's gonna be a long while before she sees the light of day again. Well, that's not she's ominous. She's a real pretty girl. That's also not she's ominous. Another audition, and Tifa was chosen as a candidate. An audition for what? For the title of the next Mrs. Cornell. She's what he likes all rolled into one sweet package. Having scouted girls for so long, I know his taste better than my own. And considering those tastes, I can guarantee you this. She won't be walking out of that mansion anytime soon. If at all. So uh, where can we find this Don Corneo? Yeah, and definitely What's kick his ass. Thinking of raising holy hell or something? Yeah. Do what you gotta, but leave me out of it. I told you what you want to know. Now take a walk. Uh, and there goes our best lead yet. <sighs> Maybe we'll have better luck in town. Let's check it out. Here it is. Oh, I just wanted to hear that music start up. I love it. Ah, I love this part of the game. Welcome to Wall Market, the pleasure capital of Midgar that's got everything for everybody. Couple, huh? It's all good. Play together, do your own thing, earn a little stretch on the side even. Whatever you're into, we got you. Got a special one-time limited offer. No, thank you. Come on, Cloud. Let's go. Yeah, that's how you know you're in fucking Vegas. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I am super excited to get started with this part of the game, but I think we are going to, in fact, do that on the next stream. So... Thank you, everybody, who stopped by and hung out. Um, and yeah, I guess next time we'll, we'll check out the, the sites, see if, if Tifa's all right. She's not. She got human traffic. She, she, she's not all right. We have to go save her. Um, <laughs> and then we'll uh, see the, 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 the sites. I already said that. Um, <laughs> but yeah, um, thanks again, everybody, for hanging out. Hope y'all have a good one. Peace.